for joining me at Margaret Lalik's kitchen today. Father's Day is coming and it's on Sunday, this coming Sunday. If you're wondering what to make and the weather is so hot, you don't want to bake anything, you don't want to cook anything, you can make no-bake lemon tart. I'm going to show you how to make no-bake lemon tart today. It's so easy and it's very impressive and very tasty. Let's get started. To make this delicious tart, we need Biscoff co uh, cookies. One package is enough for this size 9 inch tart pan. So we need Biscoff cookies, we need coconut creamer, 5 medium sized lemon juice, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of turmeric and one a teaspoon of vanilla extract that's all we need so let's get started i'm going to put the biscoff cookies in a processor food processor and i'm going to put all this all the biscoff cookies goes in the food processor And we are going to pour. We're going to add two tablespoon of coconut oil. If it's melted, it's better. Mine is not melted very well. of coconut oil now I'm going to continue mixing now it's blended I'm going to transfer this then we are going to Spread it into the pan. I'm going to use the back of this to press it. I'm using my measuring cup and trying to push it and um, bring it to the sides. So I can have a nice even crust. Okay, with the help of a <clears throat> measuring cup, I was able to evenly distribute the uh, crust. Now this goes into the refrigerator. Once it's in the refrigerator, I'm going to make the filling. I have transferred the crust into the refrigerator. Now I'm going to make the filling. For that, I need a coconut uh, cream. This is 16 ounce. I'm going to pour a little bit, actually some on top of the cornstarch. And the rest goes into the cooking pan and I'm going to bring this to a boil. Once this starts boiling, I'm going to add the sugar and everything else, of course. Now I'm adding the sugar, three quarter of a cup of sugar. Three quarter of a cup and try to dissolve it. Now I'm going to add the vanilla. Continue to mix. Now I'm adding the turmeric and I'm straining the lemon juice.
I just separated the pulp from the juice. Now I'm adding the coconut milk that I had mixed with the cornstarch earlier to make sure that it doesn't have any lumps. I'm going to bring this to a boil. I'm also adding the lemon rind and continuing to mix it and continue cooking until it gets thicker. Now I'm getting big bubbles. Now it's ready. I'm going to turn it off, let it cool down just a little bit, then I will pour it on top of my crust. My filling has cooled down and my, uh, I took out my crust from the refrigerator. Now I'm going to add the filling on top of the crust. It has some bubbles and I want to get rid of the bubbles. I just want to get rid of the bubbles, that's it. This is ready to go into the refrigerator. So I'll put this in the refrigerator and wait until it solidifies. Once it solidifies, then I will do the final touches. I will put the decorations and it will be ready to be enjoyed. I have left the tart to solidify overnight and I'm continuing the next morning. I have cut some lemon wedges and I picked some mint and I also had some blueberries that I'm going to decorate with. I also picked some flowers from my garden. I have dandelion and I have another kind of flower. I don't even know what it's called. I wanted to use it uh, for the contrast, uh, but I might or I might not use it. I don't want too much of a contrast. So we'll see as we go along. As you can see, I have arranged it on a plate uh, just to have a concept how I want to decorate it. And I'm going to follow the same concept and use what uh, I had in my plate and also add or not add some of the other items. I'm adding some sugar on top of the lemon. If someone wants to taste it afterwards so it won't be too lemony, it will have some sweetness to it. Therefore, I added some sugar. I'm also adding blueberries. It gives a nice contrast, light and dark. It gives a nice contrast. And I'm also adding uh, some mint leaves and that will give a nice contrast too. So I'm going to continue uh, decorating and uh, you'll see the end result. Um, I'm not going to say much about it. Uh, you will just follow me as I go along and uh, do my decorations. If you like my recipes, please don't forget to subscribe and also share it with your friends. And also don't forget to send me some notes. I would love to hear from you. And if you have any suggestions, if you want me to cook something, please let me know. I would love to hear your comments. I very much appreciate your uh, subscription and every subscriber helps me to reach my goal. And thank you so much for subscribing and spending your valuable time with me at my channel.
Yes, indeed, when life gives you lemons, make lemon tart. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the world. Have a wonderful Father's Day celebration today. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week and wonderful life. Bye-bye.